Okay, Assalamualaikum and uh, good morning. So we continue our discussion. So in this lecture, I will explain a little bit about the Blasius Ezek solution. Uh, if you have textbooks of the fluid viscous fluid flow, you will have uh, the the table for Blasius Ezek solution. However, they will give you uh, some a little bit different uh, equation. So I hope you could try that because uh, a Blasius Ezek solution is actually based on uh, a table. So a table means that the data that you get from your uh, analytical calculation. So it's depend on the equation or the or the table that you develop. So this is the very basic uh, Blasius Ezek solution. So uh, a, a Blasius Ezek solution equation for lamina flat plate boundary layer problem derived from Navier Stokes equation. So it can be simplified as this one. So in this uh, in this one in this lecture, I I just use the the terms because to to simplify the uh, to to reduce the time. So it start uh, with uh, this kind of uh, equation. We have f f double prime plus two f triple prime equal to zero. So this is actually the idea of uh, the double prime here and the triple prime here is showing the differential level. So we have sometime in certain textbook they will write as f d square f over d eta square plus two d uh, cube f over d eta cube equal to zero like this one okay so this is actually come from the navier stokes equation however so it will use the idea of f and eta so so in uh, previous in chapter one to uh, and three we will use the idea of x y z that why we have dx dy and so on so forth so uh, so this is the 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 different perspective of navier stokes equation. So means uh, you just imagine that, that the function is not u and x, u and y. So the function is about the f and the eta. Okay. So and then uh, the, the idea is, okay, we have f here means the f function of eta. And f double prime is actually the differentiate uh, terms of this one. Uh, and the f triple prime is the idea of this one so and then the uh, the eta here can be simplified as y square root u rho over mu x and some textbook they will give you as y equal y square root u over nu x so here the word the terms nu here is is show the kinematic viscosity. Okay. So I hope you, are, you could uh, understand from this equation, you could understand that rho over mu is equal to 1 over nu. So the mu here is the dynamic viscosity. So for uh, Blasius uh, is that solution, actually Blasius uh, calculate all of this by the analytical method. Analytical method means that you know that we have the navier stokes equation like this one. So uh, 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 Blasius will, the, the simple idea is because we have a, x and y and then we have a, a flat plate like this one. So means that we could... Uh, uh, substitute the value of x and y for all the point on the surface because we have a boundary layer like, like this and then if we substitute the coordinate x and y and then we could uh, get a lot of uh, all the uh, information all the data uh, regarding to the location of that point so that's what that's what uh, blast you do so and then uh, it will uh, it will uh, table all the data like this one 
So in uh, our syllabus, uh, you are not going to calculate that one. So it's only uh, you 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 may calculate that one if you do research in boundary layer. So and then, okay for examination because this subject is based on a final exam and test. So in test or final exam is uh, you need to answer the idea the, the question for blast use is a solution so we will give you a table like this one so uh, we will give you the table of eta here and then the the data that we get from the function of eta and then for the phi, uh, f prime and for the f double prime like this one so this data is uh, will be given uh, in the question Okay, so the trick is you must answer based on the table, not from your own integral calculation. It is totally different like a von Karman uh, solution. Von Karman solution is based on the assumption and then you do your integration and then you solve everything on the integration. So you substitute and, and then you get the final answer. But for... Uh, Plus use uh, is that solution you need to answer based on the table so and then the question is still uh, the same you need to determine what is the value of delta c d uh, local drag coefficient and the drag coefficient c capital d so this is the uh, first question so we need to uh, determine the the, the value of boundary layer thickness so we know that uh, the limit for the boundary layer thickness is u is equal 0 0.99 capital u and on that time we assume that the y is, is equal to delta so the idea of 99 percent is uh, we already discussed about this so we have a plate here so we have a molecule and then we have the last molecule with its 99 percent and the uh, molecule here will have 100% of U. So 100% of small U will be considered as capital U. So means that the boundary layer means uh, a layer that we take from this region, from this boundary, the, the difference between 99% and 100%. So and then, okay, so because we have this condition u is equal 0 0.99 capital u so we refer back to the assumption given in the table so uh, because sometimes table will give you another uh, assumption okay later on i will give a, a question about that so here in this table we assume that u over u is equal to f prime here so what we need to do is we we stick to the condition which is u over u so we bring the capital u to the left hand side here so we have u capital u is equal to 0 0.99 and then this equal to the f prime so what we need to do is we need to check the table in this table at what point the u over u is equal to 0 0.99 so from this table so we found that it is lay on this row okay so please make sure that we are aiming for 99 percent so means that yes we have data about 99 0 0.999 we have the the value equal to one so please take value where the amount is nearest to the 99 percent so for example if you have 0 0.9916 here and then you will have 0 0.9899 so i think you should stick to the 0 0.9899 because it is the closest value of 99 percent so that is the idea of 99 percent so uh so we have this one so and then we need to stick we need to take a look of this row so in this row we found that the eta here is equal to 5 the f eta is equal to 3.2 so we have this 99 and we have a f double prime at 0.0159. So and then uh, 
from the table, we found that the value of eta is 5 when the f prime is 0 0.992. So, and then uh, from the assumption here, so we have eta and y here. So, we could write as f y uh, eta is equal to 5 and then the y here is equal to delta. So, I mean, we substitute this one. So, we have eta is equal to 5. So, and then the del y here is equal to delta, and then we could get this one, and then we could rearrange the, the calculation. So, for example, here we know that Renault number is ux over nu, and then we have Renault over x is equal u over nu. So, we could uh, substitute with this one. So, and then... Okay, so we could rewrite the equation to get delta is equal 5x over square root Renault. So this is uh, the way from the Blasius uh, is that solution to get the value of delta equal 5x over square root Renault. So this is the representative answer. So normally uh, in our test, we are aiming uh, students to get the value of delta equal to 5x over square root Renault number. In some textbook, they will give you 4.99. 4.99x over square root Renault. So it depends on the how details the table uh, is given. Okay. So and then, another thing that you need to understand is we have a boundary layer thickness from the von Karman and we have the boundary layer thickness from the Blasius. Okay. So if if you don't have any velocity profile in your lamina boundary layer, it is okay for you to solve that boundary layer problem by using the Blasius exact solution. This is the representative equation for boundary layer thickness for laminar boundary layer. So means that if you don't have any velocity profile, so you could take or you could solve uh, problems about boundary layer by using delta equal 5x over square root Renault number. So if you have velocity profile, so you need to refer or you need to do your integral by using the idea of uh, von Karman uh, equation. Okay, then uh, we could calculate the displacement thickness. So we have uh, delta star is equal to this one. So, and then uh, we have, we need to change a little bit because in this equation, we have u over u and we have dy. So in our uh, table, we don't have u over u and dy, but okay, we could substitute as this one. Previously here, from the assumption, it gives us u over u is f prime. So we could uh, substitute the u over u as f prime. But we have problem. We need to deal very carefully about dy. Okay, so we have this assumption. Eta is equal y square root u nu x. So and then if we uh, differenti differentiate it into d eta dy, we could have this term. So and then if we... Uh, rearrange the value so we will, we will have dy is equal d eta square root nu x over u so and then we substitute the dy here with this term so we can have this one so and then uh, to do the integral, uh, integral so we expand the term so we have this one so we have uh, this is the, the constant so we put it here and then integration of 1 to 5 eta, so we will have integration of 1 minus integration of f prime here. So, and then the integration. The limit here is from 0 to delta, but we need to change into 0 to 5 because from the table, we know that this is 0 and this is delta. So, means the delta is occur at eta is equal to 5. So, then we change the limit of the integration from 0 to delta to 0 to 5. So, and then, we have this equation. So, we could solve this easily. So, integration of 1 d eta will give us eta. 
and then uh, the limit is 0 to 5 so we have 5 minus 0 so we'll get the value is equal to 5 okay so and then for this one the integration of f prime d eta from 0 to 5 as i said okay so the the integral with f prime means the integration of df d eta so it will give us back to its normal means the, the simple one the integration here will uh, cancel the the i the the differential uh, uh, process so means it will refer as f eta only so that's why we write as f eta here so and then you must make sure that you solve this based on the table so from the table here we will found that f prime here at eta is equal to 5 is equal to 3.2834 and at eta equal to 0 it is equal to 0 so means that we could solve this problem by having 3.2834 minus 0 so we'll have 3.2834 so and then we, we substitute the value of this one with a 3.2 so we could solve the problem as this one so and then we substitute the value again so we know that uh, from the Renault number from the delta is 5x over square root Renault or uh, this can be can also taken from here okay so it is delta over 5 is equal to square root nu x over u so we substitute so we will get this one we could solve the problems we could simplify uh, the numbers so we could have and then we substitute the value of 5x over the number then we could calculate the delta star here is equal to 1.7166x over the number so this is how to to solve this problem by using the, the table. So normally, uh, we are not uh, asking to calculate the value of delta star. So our main uh, calculation is actually about the delta because the boundary layer thickness delta is the uh, can be proved in uh, experimental works. So and then we could calculate the momentum thickness okay so this is the equation again we need to change a little bit the equation so the limit from 0 to delta will become 0 to 5 and then we substitute the value of u over u in with uh, f prime and then we substitute the dy with the the d eta nu x over u square root so and then uh, we uh, put the the, the constant uh, at the front here and then we have this term so again because we need to solve these problems uh, from the table so we cannot use the, the mathematical solution so what we need to change our understanding of this term into this one okay so the integration means the summation so we need to uh, calculate all the value of that one so we change uh, the the terms of integral here with the sigma mean that the summation from 0 to 5 and then we have f prime 1 minus f prime d eta so d eta here is actually uh, reflect the the interval different from one point to to another point mean from point one to point two from point two to point three and so on so and then this table uh, this calculation need to be done based on the table so what we could do is okay let's say what is f prime so if we have we look back at the table so f prime is here so means that this value is the value of f prime so then we have f prime 1 minus f prime so what we need to do is f prime here is equal for example we take for eta at, at this row so the f prime is 0 0.62 and then you could calculate 1 minus 0 0.62 to get this value and then you need to multiply this one and then the word del delta eta so delta eta means the 
interval difference so means that from here to here so it is 2.0 minus 1.5 so mean it is equal to 0 0.5 so normally in our table they will we will give you the 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 same uh, interval difference so you could see here that the difference is 0 0.5 so means that okay so the delta star here uh, is equal to 0 0.5 so and then we could solve the problem uh, like this one so we assume that the, the theta here is uh, 0 0.5 and then we have we have f prime here okay 0 0 1.1 6 5 uh, 9 and so on and so forth so it's depend on the table so and then you we could calculate the the terms of this one and then we have all of this so and then the the idea of sigma here means summation means the the total value so means we need to total up all this value and then we get it is equal to 0 0.6548 So we substitute the term of this one with 0 0.6548 and then uh, here I think you could uh, refer to the previous uh, notes. So we could replace the square root nu x over u as delta over 5. So we have here and then we substitute the delta is 5x over square root renaud. So and then we could calculate the value of theta here as 0 0.6548x over square root reno so if you compare this answer with the representative value in textbooks okay you will find that in the textbook the official value of momentum thickness derived uh, using the blasius exact solution is 0.664x over square root reno so this is actually uh, the, the official value so it is good for you to remember this value so why this happened because our table is very limited so normally for this one we need a very uh, detailed table so we could uh, calculate uh, all the value means with the delta eta very small with 0 0.01 or 0 0.05 okay so this is the the uh, the, the official value of momentum thickness by using the Blasius exact solution. So and then uh, we need to calculate the shear wall st uh, shear stress by using uh, the idea of Blasius. So and then again, so we have the newton law of viscosity so we have tau equal mu du dy at y equal to zero so however the the, the problem is we don't have u over u and we don't have y so what we need to do is we need to change a little bit this this term uh, which uh, some something that can be solved from the table so uh, we split the terms of du dy here with du d eta times d eta dy at the condition of eta equal to zero. So I think you could ex uh, you know about this. So and then how to get du d eta? Okay, so we know that uh, du d u over u u over capital U is equal to d f d eta, or we have uh, f prime here, or we have f prime of the function of eta so and then uh, we bring the capital u to the right hand side so we will have this term so and then we differentiate it with eta so we have du d eta u d f, d f prime so please uh, remember that f prime here is actually d f in the function of eta okay so and then how to get that d eta dy so we get this assumption at the beginning of uh, the the question so and then from here we could have d eta dy as u over over nu x square root so and then it uh, means that now we have both uh, equation so we substitute into this one so we will have this one so and then we have um, u df 
uh, uh, d f prime u over nu x so and then uh, we the 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 condition of eta equal to zero is actually available only for this term because for u and this term we don't have any any value of eta to be substituted so it's okay not not to uh, substitute the value of eta so the f prime here is the only term which has uh, the value of eta equal to zero so and then uh, we bring all the constant term here and then we write d f prime at eta equal to zero okay so here again so uh, we have d f prime so the so we have here okay yeah we start uh, d f prime so d f prime mean d is uh, the, the the differential uh, form and f prime here is actually another differential form so means that here we have a uh, uh, d square f actually d square f over d eta square so means that uh, it is equal to f double prime so that's why here we change the term into f double prime at eta equal to zero so again as i said you need to refer to the table so from the table here so you need to refer to this table so we have the f double prime eta here so at uh, boundary layer thickness at eta equal to five so the value is uh, oh i'm sorry so the value of eta at equal to zero so the value is 0 0.3321 so we substitute the value of that one here 0 0.3321 and then we could get this value so this is the shear stress that occur along the uh, at, that occur at that specific point so mean so that specific point means that we have the terms of x here so is it is the x location so if you substitute the value of x equal to one meter for example we have a two meter plate here this is two meter and this is one meter so if you substitute the x equal to one so means that uh, we could calculate the shear stress that occur at this point so and then to calculate the local uh, friction coefficient or drag coefficient so uh, we use this equation so we substitute the value of tau so we get it is 0 0.6642 square root Renault so and then if we want to calculate the drag coefficient so the drag coefficient here so I will show you the the simplified version of drag coefficient so we know that the, the, uh, the equation is cd is equal to fd divided by 1 over 2 rho u square a area so the area here is with time length so and then the f here the drag force can be calculated by the idea of integration of tau and a tau da so and then dA here is actually B times dx. So and then uh, the idea of tau here, it, uh, we substitute with the von Karman, rho u square d theta dx, and then we could neglect the value of dx with dx here. We cancel the B here. So and then we cancel the rho u square, rho u square here. So we have this term integration of d theta over 1 over 2 l so again if you do the integration of uh, d theta so it is equal to integration of 1 of d theta so means that it will give us the value of theta so mean you will have theta over 1 over 2 l and then you could uh, simplify the term as 2 theta over l so means that you could easily calculate the value of cd by using this equation so it can be used for both lamina and turbulent boundary layer so we have 2 theta over l so you need to calculate the value of l here and uh, the, the value of theta by using the the momentum thickness uh, equation
So we substitute from the previous calculation. So the, the theta is 0 0.65. So we could get the CD is 1.3096 over square root Renault. So and then uh, in textbooks, okay, the because the, the official value of theta is 0 0.664, that's why in uh, textbook they will give you the official uh, drag coefficient uh, calculated with a blast use index solution is given as CD equal 1.328 over square root Renault. 